morning guys welcome back to today's video good morning from our little kitty look at how tiny she is she's never grown she's just a tiny little cat but anyway i wanted to give you guys an update on my spirulina organic spirulina i'm not a doctor you're not supposed to take this stuff if you have like autoimmune issues but i wanted to show you this is how many i've taken um so this is how i take drugs drugs always build up in my system so i always stop them um and let them kind of wear out so I took these for about a month. I had amazing effects. They make me, they control my blood sugar. I don't know why, but they make me not crave sugar, which is like literally the only health issue I've ever really had is the sugar, <coughs> is me craving sugar. So I stopped taking them about two weeks ago and I still am the same. I feel exactly the same. I don't crave sugar. I still have energy. I just, it, they're amazing. So what will happen is that once that effect goes away and I start craving sugar a lot again, I'll start taking them again. But yeah, love them still. Another thing, we're outside. Another thing that I noticed is that um, I am losing weight. I'm not trying to lose weight. I just eat whatever I want. I eat to be healthy and to feel strong. Um, but I notice like I'm not losing a lot of weight. I just notice little things like my winter clothes. I got them all out the other day. You can still see the lights. Northern lights, see that little yeah. thing in the sky. Northern lights, you guys. But anyways, um, I just noticed like all my winter clothes that I washed fit me really well, or they're like a little bit loose. <coughs> or I noticed that my face, you always lose weight from the head down. So like your butt is the last place to lose weight usually. Um, I noticed that my face is still thinner than in the winter and it's like even a little bit thinner just tiny tiny bit like i'm not losing a ton of weight but i'm not trying to lose weight penny showed up for breakfast this morning oh god so she's good hello piggy pig where's that kitty here hear him yeah there's his little hay nest. so this is my boy stall for the winter this is my boy stall for the winter, but little Ollie's taking it over. He loves this stall and he covers himself up in hay and hi kitty. Anyways, you guys, crazy things. Lady jumped last night. She like jumped, like not just popped over the cross rails. She actually jumped. They put flowers underneath the jumps. So if he thinks that's why she jumped. Anyway, she jumped in it. I was like, I didn't know if she was ever gonna, I had faith, but I didn't know for sure if she was ever gonna like jump, jump, like actually jump. But last night, that lesson, oh man, I, like I was so proud of her because in that lesson, she, you can see she had so much more confidence about the whole thing. And that was beautiful in itself. Yeah, that's posy. Out you go. <laughs> My little sweet girl. What's all over your face? Whoa, don't kick it. There you go. Just look and make sure you look good. Yep, she looks good. Perfect shape. Come on, little man. We eat outside now in the freezing cold. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> they all have hay on their head. Check what's wrong with you. All right, you're good. Yeah. In the summer, I found it so hard to keep the pig's weight down. But now that it's cold out, I'm finding that they need a little more. Ha, ah, beautiful ladies. Ha, ah, beautiful ladies. Aren't they the cutest? They're my favorite goats. Ugh. All right, that's a lot. I love all the goats. Honestly. They're just so sweet. Anyway, about the lesson. Like, it was the first time a lady jumped, like really jumped, and I could see, really truly see, that she is gonna be able to jump, like at least 18 inches, which is fine with Sophie. But she like jumped. And then there was this part where Sophie was like going, like going up, as she jumped, but then she would sit back down on her back before she got her feet over the jump. And Brandon was like explaining to her, like, you can't do that. You have to stay up for 15 seconds at least. Count to 15 and then sit down. And then the minute she did that, oh, 
it was so pretty like it was a massive change anyways Brandon said like Sophie you did so good in this lesson and I said like she's just turning 15 like she's been so young through this whole journey and she's finally ready like when she had Finn she was just a little tiny girl and she was more like a passenger and now she's like ready to learn like she's the right age she's the right age to learn how to really ride and she is loving it like the whole time Brandon was coaching her she was like you could see she was listening so intently and she was like so excited to figure that stuff out we're gonna drive in a few times while he's gone so she can practice what she was doing in her lesson so she doesn't forget it because she likes to jump in a flat area and she's gonna be able to jump outside are you gonna do chickens all right thanks for coming <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys caught that lesson. It was so exciting for me. I don't know if you guys remember when Gabby was learning to jump Storm and when Gabby was learning to jump Chino. Like, the most exciting parts for me are when they're learning, when the horse is learning to jump. Like, watching them improve lesson to lesson or watching them struggle is always like so like nail biting and so fun for me because I love seeing them improve. All right guys, I am out getting Believe it or not, straw, I forgot to video. And I was talking to the farmer there that I picked it up at. See all the straw back there? You can't see it, I'll show you later. Got some straw for the for the pigs, for their stall. And who knows, might set up a little display for Thanksgiving. I bought a little pumpkins. I gotta go look for bigger pumpkins. The store didn't have any pumpkin. Yeah, there's a, a farm close by to us that sells pumpkins. I think it's an Amish farm. So we might go check that out and get some big pumpkins. I have a few small ones and stuff that I bought earlier, but I'm looking for some bigger ones. All right, so here's the pumpkins I bought at the, at the grocery store. I need to go to the farm down the road and get more pumpkins. Bought some carrots, got some little tiny pumpkins. And there's the hay. It's actually um, wheat hay. But it should be all right for the piggies to stay warm. So yeah, I'll set that up as a display for the weekend and then should be good to take pictures. So today the girls made cookies and I love them. Look at that one. It's a happy face and Gabby put on some hair. Okay. Okay. I love the little right. spider. These are the ones that I made. <laughs> I did, did my traditional gingerbread shape. And then I did some pumpkins that I just shaped myself. And then used some M&M &M pieces to decorate them. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Gabby, Gabby is clearly the more creative one. She made other ones, but I think she ate them. Here they are. Aren't they adorable? Like, look at the hair on that one. And the eyes, he's all big and fat and puffy. I love it. These are Sophie's. It is cold out now, you guys. I'm so grateful Sam actually found straw. Last year we left it. What do we need straw for? Last year we left it too late and well actually we couldn't even find any this year. We used straw especially we use straw especially for the pigs. But we use it for bedding so that they can stay warm in the winter. We decided we weren't doing that this year. Oh I know. But there's no other thing to do. Straw is actually really important for the pigs because they burrow down in it. They also use <coughs> blankets and we have blankets in there but I'm gonna have to get more blankets I should actually look for them this weekend too get a heated blanket. they need yeah they love that they need like heavy blankets that they can go and burrow it down into to keep them warm because they don't really have like a lot of fur well listen to this this is crazy remember I had that cold I had it like for about a month and it was like really bad like I could not stop coughing and then it got so much better like so much better. And then I realize now though, it's not completely gone. Like I'm still coughing and Sam is still, <coughs> and Sam is still coughing. I bet you I have bronchitis now. I bet you I have bronchitis. Oh, maybe. That's what it feels like. Okay. All right, first load of straws. Is this all you could get? Uh, no, I didn't think I needed that much. Oh, well you can never have too much straw. Ugh! Come on, sister. <laughs> I'm good. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. No, You're you still a farm girl. Lighter than, lighter than hay. Where are we putting it? 
Oh, well, that's a good idea. He says put it in with the pink now. I think actually we should because like I noticed this guy, it's almost going down to freezing at night, but I noticed this guy really builds his, it's just hay. He really does dig deep and build a bed. So I'll just put one in now each stall, but <coughs> do you guys see? Can you guys see his little bed? That's where he sleeps. You can't tell, I don't think, but he digs like a little area there. And then he has two blankets, three blankets. Two of them are really warm, but he doesn't really use those. More. He does have lots? Yeah, I just didn't know that how really many. Straw is so good for birthing. Yeah, that really puffed out. Look at that. I took the... Yeah, so maybe you only need like one. Yeah, look at how huge that got. Yeah, you go ahead. Kick it. Kick it. Don't okay. kick it towards his food. Kick it that way. His bed is over there. Oh my gosh. Your has to go over here. You gotta, like, fluff it out. Yeah, you gotta I'm fluff it out. Unpile it. Yeah. You're gonna... Take you're gonna have a good bed tonight, Piggy. Take your anger issues out of all. <laughs> I'm done doing that. Alright, well look at how soft and fluffy that's gonna be for him. Oh, he's gonna love that. He is gonna love it. And I don't even think we need this much. Like, Whoa. for now. Alright, so, I don't know, I'm not good at making a pig bed. Maybe he can do it, but oh, this stuff is nice. Well, maybe because they got pigs, so you don't know how to make a pig bed. That's a lot, and half of it's over there. I should get his blankets out for him. This blanket is literally so heavy. He could, like, it's so heavy. That's why I got it, even though it's, the straw sticks to it. It's so warm. I want that on my bed now. Anyway, oh, okay. He could get under there. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. I wonder how much these were because they're actually quite huge. Oh, you're in here. Uh oh. Open. Well, I don't know why you let her in so fast. Hosey, on the other hand, absolutely uses her blankets. Look, Posey, we got a whole new bedding for you. I'm gonna put that, shake it all out for you. You make a nice bed. There we go. Look, we're making you a nice soft bed. Posey, you're gonna love it. Look, I made you a bed. Look at that, it's like a nice cozy bed. She's like, I just want my dinner. Anyway, so Posey actually sleeps here on her blankets when she's cold, but when she wants to cool down, she sleeps in here. And look at, all the hay is out of there. She's pushed it all out. She's like, thank you. That's all She's I wanted. Like, actually, maybe I'll like throw a bunch in there because we actually have a heating lamp in there. And so it looks like Posey rips her bed. Well, what the heck? The work on a farm is never done. Not even on a Friday night. I'm pretty sure that Lola's pregnant. I mean, it's early days and you can't tell for sure, but if you go by like behavior, if they have like a big change in behavior, then you can usually tell. And she was coming up to me and wanted me to massage her whole body today. I'll put some pictures in. So I think she's pregnant. I feel like Tilly's pregnant. I feel like she's gonna have four babies. She let me catch her. Did she? Yeah, like she's been really more gentle lately. So She's unhappy though because somehow she got in the wrong stall tonight. She's like, I can smell it. This is my stall, I want it. So Blossom, who doesn't usually care what stall she goes in, she made a beeline for her stall today and said like, I'm taking it back. And Tilly tried and to go back out the door. <laughs> so this is the only goat that I'm not sure about if she's pregnant. I don't know, but we're gonna wait. There's a couple weeks and we should see who comes back into heat. Hopefully we get to see your baby's birth this time. Yeah, we wanna see your baby give birth. Actually, I liked the surprise. I know, that's like the best thing ever. If you guys didn't see that video, it was like one of my favorite things. I was talking about it to a friend today. It was like, <coughs> I came in the barn and I did all the chores because we were waiting for her to give birth. 
and it was like two days past the time she was supposed to give birth and because all her ligaments were gone and she gave birth like two days later so I went in I did chores I didn't really look in the stalls I like start, gave everybody food so I gave everybody food Sophie came in behind me and all of a sudden like I heard her wow that looks so good all of a sudden I heard her and she's like ah, 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 you're so cute and I went like this because I looked in the stall, actually. I looked right at the goat. I didn't, or I looked right in the stall. But she gave <coughs> birth, like, in a weird spot. But anyways. He was by the water. He was behind the water. No, by the water. By the water. But anyways, I'll never forget her saying, oh, 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 You're so cute. Like, she was so amazed. And he was the first baby goat born on our farm. And... I don't know he's special and he is so special anybody who comes here to visit our farm he's like here let me just love you let me spend time with you so he's yeah, definitely he's, special he's never leaving us yeah he's never leaving he's never leaving till he dies till he dies don't even say that yeah. knock on wood it's like how long do goats live goats are tricky man because they're bad don't you know that you're beautiful